Hello, my name is Matt McKinnon. I'm from JICO Instruments. I'm here to introduce you today to atmospheric, atmospheric pressure microwave induced plasma decapsulation. Our microwave induced plasma decapsulation system was developed at the Delft University of Technology by Dr. Jachi Tung. We're still based in the Netherlands. Uh, we've got a patented plasma decapsulation process and we've been delivering silver wire capable decapsulation systems to our customers globally since 2016. Some of the features of our microwave induced plasma decapsulation system are atmospheric pressure, which means that we have a high plasma density, which means that we have faster etching rates. We also have a CF4 free decapsulation process. This means that there's no damage to the silicon dye or the passivation layer, which means your devices are electrically functional after decapsulation. And our MIP machine is fully automated. This means that there's no manual handling during the decapsulation process. And we have high etching selectivity. This means that the original failure sites are retained after the decapsulation process. Some of the uh, features and applications of the MIP machine, we have a, a large number there based on different uh, types. Some of the wire, well, all of the bond wire types in the market we can decapsulate now, including silver wire. These are decapped on fresh and also thermally stressed packages. Uh, we're also are working on the laces fan in, fan out, package, wafer level packaging as well, and on different uh, dye materials. Some of the work we've been doing lately is on saw and bore filters, which are also found in complex packages such as system and package. Uh, our customers have been using the MIP machine to develop novel decapsulation uh, recipes for different failure types, including electrical overstress, contamination, and corrosion. And some of our previous work we've also uh, presented has been on different encapsulants, including high TG mold compound found in automotive devices. Wherever possible, we try and present uh, latest applications to our customers worldwide at the different uh, conferences, including the ISTFA. At the IPFA this year, we co-authored a paper with Huawei on real-life FA cases. Uh, these were electrical overstress and contamination. At the ISFA conference last year, 2016, together with Infineon, we presented a paper comparing chemical, conventional plasma, and MIP decapsulation performance on automotive devices. And at the IPFA 2016, we presented a paper co uh, with Sumitomo Bakelet on high TG mold compound. And at the ISFA 2015, co-authoring with Texas Instruments, we did a uh, decapsulation uh, comparison performance against uh, chemical, conventional plasma, and MIP on devices with bond over active circuits. At this year's conference, my colleague Dr. Jachi Tung will be co-authoring a paper with Texas Instruments on halogen-free microwave-induced plasma decapsulation of system and package devices. This paper is on Thursday at 11.30 a.m. and we hope that you can make it. Thank you very much for your time.